Mrs. Flynn, parents, friends, and classmates. In a few short moments, we will be graduates. In a few short months, we will be college students. And in a few short years, we will be adults in the workforce, making our impact on the world. It seems like just yesterday, we were learning to walk, ride a bike, or tie our shoes. But you know what they said, time flies when you're having fun. And we did have a lot of fun. In our time at Bishop Walsh, we certainly made an impact. However, it is not what we did here that matters. It is what we do with what we have learned here. It is not scoring 1,000 points that truly matters, but the hard work and dedication that is learned through reaching such an accomplishment. Records will be broken and pictures will fade, but our education is eternal. As we gather here today, many of the circumstances of our graduation are not what we had hoped for, but we still prevail. These may not be ordinary times, but we are not an ordinary class. We were born into the world shortly after 9-11 and will play a critical role in rebuilding our world following the pandemic. The class of 2020 is a symbol of hope. If being the first graduating class to live through a modern pandemic is any indication, we will be a part of many other firsts in our world. As the Rolling Stones put it, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, well, you might find you get what you need. While it may sound contradictory, this pandemic has served to strengthen our Bishop Walsh community. We currently have to make an effort to be with each other. While we currently took seeing our friends and praising God every day for granted, we now must make a conscious effort to do so. This has the great potential to strengthen our relationships with God and with each other if we allow it to. Similarly, these challenges exponentially help us grow as human beings. A lesson can be taken out of every hardship. It is up to us to triumph in our trials. In the midst of this global pandemic, claiming many lives, we need to be grateful that we are still here to celebrate our accomplishments. We are truly blessed. This is the last time that the entire Bishop Walsh class of 2020 will ever be gathered together. As we go our separate ways today, we may no longer be united physically, but will forever be united spiritually in our shared Catholic education. For just as the body is one, and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Our future health care workers are the hands of our body, gently caring for patients in need. Our future counselors are the shoulders, offering patients emotional support. Our future engineers constitute the legs and feet of our body carrying us in the direction of progress. We all serve a role as part of this body of Christ, serving his mission in our world. As our high school careers come to a close, let us remember that this is merely the ending of the prologue of his great life. The plot is yet to unfold, and we can take it in an endless variety of ways. For there are many pages of which we are responsible for writing. Now the real story is beginning. I would like to thank my parents, who instilled in me the desire to dream big and supported me along every part of my journey. I would like to thank my teachers for not only teaching me math and science, but about moral ways of applying knowledge. I would also like to thank the teachers and staff for rising above and beyond and making our senior deliveries and making graduation possible despite all of the obstacles. Additionally, I would like to thank my friends for learning the lessons of high school alongside me. Most importantly, I would like to thank God, the sponsor of our stories and giver of every blessing. 
Today, as we go our separate ways, let us remember that we will always be the Bishop Walsh class of 2020. I cannot wait to see what we will achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graduation of the Bishop Walsh class of 2020. Scholarship 
Russia and a BMU exemplary female student medal are presented to Jordan Marini. Memorial Award for a student who has continuously worked to improve his or her academics and has succeeded is presented to Cheyenne Cromwell. The William Walsh Mock Trial Award and the Medal for Excellence in Chemistry are presented to Hunter Latner. The Joanne Stangl Memorial Award for Excellence in Performing Arts, the Distinguished Catholic Action in the Community Medal, the James and Hilda Berry Award, and the Principal's Medal for Outstanding Service to the School are presented to Seth Hickson. Excellence in English and Excellence in Spanish 
as well as the medal for the second highest average for four years are presented to Olivia Cooper. The Christian Values and Lifestyle Medal, the medals for excellence in biology, mathematics, music, religion, and social studies, the Leo Lai Memorial Award, as well as the highest average for four years, are presented to Kara Mako. competition and excitement. 
This has been an unforgettable experience in my life. Growing up and being surrounded with such supportive friends and exceptional teachers has been a blessing that shaped me into the person I am today. These people have given me the ability to feel confident when moving on to the next chapter of my life. I know many of us wish we could go back to our last day, a random Thursday in March. None of us knew what was coming. I would give anything to eat lunch with my friends, have one more AP psychology class, simply walk through the BW halls again, and most importantly, give a proper thank you to the faculty and staff at Bishop Walsh. I genuinely believe I am the person I am today because of them. Every single teacher at BW has taught me something that I will carry with me throughout my life. My elementary teachers taught me basic skills and how to be a true friend. My middle school teachers inspired me to chase my dreams and always stay true to myself. And my high school teachers showed me how to take every opportunity I'm given and how to work hard for my success. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my parents and family for always supporting me and pushing me to be the best version of myself. And lastly, I would like to thank my classmates for being such an amazing group of people to grow up with and share all of my memories with. Each and every one of us will have such a positive impact on the world and a bright future ahead. I cannot wait to see what is in store. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. by the power invested in me through the state of Maryland and the Archdiocese of Baltimore, and having fulfilled the requirements for graduation from Bishop Walsh School. Diplomas are awarded to the following members of the class of 2020. Alexis Arden Apple. Olivia Jane Cooper. Shiana Tania Helson Cromwell. Seth 
Andrew Hickson. Ethan James Hegelman. India Grace Hillier. Ethan Matthew Hopper. Wayne Leroy Caroma. <laughs> Levi Braden Kretschmann. Hunter Scott Latner.
Elisa Marie Yule. Caleb Michael Ziegler. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bishop Walsh graduating class of 2020. Now that you are officially graduates, please move your tassel over to the left side. will never forget. We do have one more special something to celebrate. The retirement of our principal, Dr. Ray Kitty. <laughs> Dr. Kitty began his career at Walsh over 40 years ago. He returned five years ago, first as our athletic director, then as dean of students, girl soccer coach, and finally as principal. In his time as principal, he increased enrollment, established our makerspace, instituted dual enrollment courses, reinvigorated the BW basketball team, enhanced the competitiveness of our girls' sports, and continued our tradition of academic success. Dr. Dr. Kitty, we couldn't let you retire without one last thank you. Enjoy your retirement. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020.